Hello everyone. Today I am going to read a book. What's that smell? Written by Ashwetha Jayakumar, illustrated by Tariq Aziz. Published by Pratham Books. What's that smell? Tara and her family are home. It's good to be back, isn't it, Tara? says Ma. Tara nods. I'm hungry. Madhav rubs his stomach. Also hungry, he says loudly. We have milk, eggs, bread and vegetables in the fridge, says Ma. I'll cook dinner, says Pa. Ah, can you make fried rice? Says, asks Tara. Fried rice? Madhav echoes. As soon as Tara, Madhav, Ma and Pa enter the house, they know that something is wrong. Very wrong. Chee! Smell, cries Tara. A monster, yells Madha. It is hot, dark and stinky. The whole house smells. Where is the smell coming from? Mummy checks the bedroom. Madhav checks the bathroom. Tara checks the dining room. Pa checks the kitchen. It's coming from there, says Pa, pointing at the fridge. A stinky fridge monster, gasps Tara. Scared, says mother, hugging Ma. Let's open the fridge and see what's inside, says Ma. Ma opens the fridge. Everyone covers their noses and mouths. Mmm, it's warm inside and the light is off, says Ma, sticking her arm into the fridge. What happened? asks Tara. The fridge stopped working some time ago, Pa explains. Without the cold air, everything spoiled, says Ma glum glumly. Has the milk gone bad? asks Tara. Yes, can you smell how sour it is? asks Ma. Milk needs to be kept cold to stay fresh says Pa. Has the bread gone bad? asks Tara. Yes. Do you see the green stuff? That's mold, says Pa. It goes on the bread. Fuzzy, says Madhav curiously. Don't, don't touch it, says Pa. You'll fall sick if you eat it. Have the vegetables gone bad too? Asks Tara sadly. Yes, they are rotten, says Ma. We can't eat them. Madhav picks up an egg and drops it. Madhav, now it smells even worse, shouts Tara. Oh no, these have gone bad too, says Pa. Tara is sure she can never eat eggs again. Yuck, 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 cries Madhav running away while Pa cleans up the mess.
they put all the rotten food into garbage bags and clear the fridge why do things go bad asks tara everything goes bad over time the cold air of the fridge keeps food fresh for longer when it's warm food goes bad faster say uh, says ma Does all food spoil? asks Tara. Not this rice, says Ma, or these potatoes, at least for a while. And not this pickle, says Pa. And not this ghee, says Ma. We can eat ghee, rice and potatoes, says Tara happily. invisible monsters Tara and Madhav thought there was an invisible monster in their house while there was no monster to be found they were right about there being something invisible when food goes bad meaning it cannot be eaten by human beings it's because something invisible has begun to eat the food these invisible beings are called microbes so these are the microbes microbes aren't totally invisible they are just very 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 tiny tinier than the tiniest insect you've ever seen you need a machine called a microscope to be able to see them they look something like this when food goes bad some foods spoil quicker than others wet fru- foods like fruits and vegetables spoil fast dry foods like uncooked dal and rice spoil slowly eggs meat and cheese also spoil fast preserved foods like pickles and ghee spoil very slowly packaged foods like biscuits and sweets spoil the slowest thank you and that is all for the story today